Alright guys, so I am trying two new products that I've had for quite some time and just have never got around to using. The Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strengthen and Restore Anti-Breakage Spray by Shea Moisture and their Strengthen and Restore Blow Dry Cream. So they're from the same lines. So I'm going to start with the spray. I'm going to shake it real good. Now it says spray on damp hair focusing from mid shaft down. So that's what we'll do. I'm going to dry the ends of my hair a little bit more because they are still kind of dripping. Okay, so it says focus mid shaft down. And their line, this Jamaican black castor oil line, if you've ever tried them before, they all kind of uh, smell the same. That kind of, in my opinion, is kind of like a Play-Doh, a Play-Doh scent. Some people might disagree, but when I smell it, that's, that's the smell that I smell. Okay, and then their blow dry cream, which says apply a small amount. So what I'm going to do, there might be a, yeah, there's a little seal on it. Take that off. Okay, so the seal is off, so what I'm going to do is squirt some on the countertop so that it's easier to apply, but before I apply that, I'm going to apply my hair oil, which I'm also going to squirt on the countertop. So what I'm going to do first is apply the hair oil all the way down and then I'm going to go on top with the blow dry cream and one thing that I'll say about these products is they all go on really really smooth which I like And I'm just going to repeat that in all the sections. Hair oil first. And as you can see, I'm not too much worrying about the roots. A little bit of the blow dry cream. This just makes it faster. And this is the most important part anyways because it's the oldest part okay. continuing on oil blow dry cream the blow dry cream is not thick at all like it's really not, which I like. I don't like when they're too thick because they can have a tendency to um, like leave particles in your hair, which obviously is not good. Same thing, oil. dry cream twist it up so I think you guys have the gist so I'm gonna go ahead and finish my whole head okay so I think that I got them all so what I do once I do all that is I just kind of do a couple sprays just all over because you know you don't want to neglect anything and yeah so what I'm gonna do is just let this sit into my hair for about 10-15 minutes and then I'm gonna go revere my hair 
I would show you guys that, but I actually do it sitting on my couch because it's just easier and I get to watch TV and all that fun stuff versus just being in the bathroom, then I gotta get my laptop so I can watch YouTube or something, or I gotta use my phone, da da da. But I'm recording on my phone, so I couldn't use my phone, you know? So I'm just gonna go sit on the couch, do my hair, and then I'll come back and show you the results. Okay, bye guys. All right guys, so I just finished revering my hair. This is what it turned out like. My hair is actually very like um, fluffy, airy. Okay, let me get up closer so you can see. You can see there's still lots and lots of texture in my hair. Lots and lots of texture. So yeah, so hair turned out great. I actually want to try, there's so many things I want to try, but I actually want to try using these products um, for a flat iron because I really do like the results and how my hair feels feels really good so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and apply my scalp oil to my scalp sometimes i do it um before the blow dry phase but um i didn't this time around so i'm just going to go ahead and do that now Okay, and the last thing I'm going to do is apply my edge treatment to my edges after I go ahead and just put my hair up in a bun. So I'm going to use my satin scrunchie. I'm just going to put it in two. Some people always want to see my pony, so here's my pony. So what I'm going to do from the ponytail is separate it in half. Okay, I'm going to twist it. Okay, twist it up. Down to the ends, twist the other side up, down to the ends, put the two ends together, apply a pump of my oil to the ends, just to make sure they stay hydrated while I throw them in a bun. Okay. That leaves me to be able to access my edges. And you guys have seen me apply my edge treatment. So, I can show you, but I don't really think you're going to be able to, to see much. Okay, and then from there... 
going to put on my nifty little headscarf, covering up the bun first. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.